housing prices won't fall. And depending on who you are, this may or may not be a good thing. This is the expectation for homes within LA County. And in today's video, I'll give you three reasons why homes won't fall here in LA County. Now, let's take a look at the first of three reasons why home prices won't fall. Inventory, otherwise known as homes available for sale. Let's start with this chart. Back in 2008 of May, inventory hit an all-time high of over 58,000 homes available for sale. It's been over a decade, but you can see the trend is clear. The amount of homes available for sale has been shrinking for over 10 years now. Since the beginning of 2021, inventory is at roughly 11,000 homes available for sale. Heading into the end of the year, I expect inventory to hover around these levels. Unless inventory were to see a huge gap up, it's hard to see home prices falling because there's not enough homes. Prices can't fall unless inventory significantly jumps up. Second reason why home prices won't fall are interest rates. For most of the year, interest rates are, have been hovering at or around 3%. In the beginning of the year, you could probably get a rate lower than 3%, uh, but as of today, the average rate uh, may be a little north of 3% right now. Let's take a look at our second chart. This graphic are projections by several leading industry experts. You can see this first row is the rest of your outlook for mortgage rates. So rates hovering around 3%. However, as we head into next year, you can see mortgage rates are expected to rise. Coming off a historically low level where interest rates are hovering around 3%, I would say this is very normal. So with a normalized interest rate, it's very hard seeing home prices falling. Rather, I think what happens when interest rates rise at a reasonable rate is increased rates puts a ceiling on home prices. So I think homes will appreciate, but at a much slower pace. The last reason why home prices won't fall are days on market. Days on market is how much the time it takes to sell a house and can also be seen as demand. The last time I had an offer or a buyer asked for closing costs and got accepted was in January, January 2020. Back in January of 2021, the average home took 26 days to sell. Now, flash forward to September 2021, it's taking just 11 days to sell. With homes flying off the shelves, buyer demand is just outpacing the amount of homes available for sale. Home prices won't fall if homes continue to sell at this pace. Now, let's just assume days on market doubles to 22. Back in January of 2020, where my buyer's offer got accepted and they asked for closing costs, well, in that market, homes were appreciating. They were just appreciating at a much slower pace. To summarize, there are three real big takeaways. They are days on market, interest rates, and inventory. With days on market inventory hovering near record lows, you should continue to see homes rise, just maybe at a slower pace. And with interest rates coming off a historically low level, right? For interest rates to rise ever so slightly, maybe just below 4%, that's normal. And we'll just put a ceiling on how fast homes can appreciate. I expect home prices to appreciate slower. What do you think? Share your thoughts and comments below. Like always, if you're already talk real estate, I'm always available. If you have a suggestion on what you'd like me to talk about, let me know. Drop them below. Take care. Hey you, smash that like button and subscribe.